Hey, look who's back. Hi, friends. My partner in crime's back. I know y'all missed her as much as I did, so welcome back. Thanks, friends. Guys, guess what? I don't know if you've seen my um, robe post this weekend, but I have been in the garden, and I'm all about the garden. I'm all about summer. I'm all about flowers. So Michelle is holding up. Look at this adorable new kit. It's so great. We love the fact that you're going to be able to take flowers that are in your garden. Here's the deal. Weeds. Right. You know those yeah, weeds have weeds. such pretty little flowers on them. Sweet little weeds that are absolutely adorable. Where's one of our weeds? Well, Here's, now the purple one's not weeds. This one is. That's Was a that, weed. Look, look at that. Is that the cutest weed? Purple, sweet purple flower. And here's our other weed. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this sweet little yellow flower that's a weed. Can you see this? Teeny, tiny little yellow Hey, Sharon flower. from Denver. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Hey, Nancy. Hey, guys. How's it going? Happy Monday. Did everybody have a great weekend? Yes. I'm sorry. You know, I'm being so bad. I'm just assuming this is a very bad assumption, but that everybody's having as beautiful weather as which is unfortunately not true. I know I it's not true. Say it was raining like crazy. Hey, Laura were. from Michigan. Um, hey, Tamara. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Jean. Hey, guys. How's it going? Happy Monday. So glad you're watching us. And if you've never watched us before, my name is Amy. And I'm Michelle. And we're showing you a brand new kit today that we love. We love it. Love, love, love. It absolutely is the perfect way to make your flowers from the garden even, and we're saying even your weeds. Even your weeds. Even your weeds. <laughs> weeds can be pretty too. <laughs> can be adorable. You can hang this up, you can put this on your nightstand, and here's the great thing. We are, we're using the ceramic paint, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to, you could use chalk art too. You could, because you're sandwiching it. So we're gonna sandwich it so it's gonna be protected regardless of what you want to use. So you really could use chalk art and then wipe it off and change your happy little saying. But I will tell you, I've been excited about this for several weeks. I was really looking forward because I love taking flowers mm -hmm. from my garden and putting them in here. So when it was so funny when Michelle came by, we're we're coming from Memphis, house. Tennessee. We're in Amy's kitchen. <laughs> so if it echoes in here, I'm sorry. But the shop is kind of a crazy place. It's like they're packing and they are making kits and they everything. They are busy, busy, busy. It's busy. And so I thought it's gonna be a lot quieter if we can come to the house and do this here. So I'm excited. You're in your house, I'm in my house. And, and I, I got think, to see all the things Amy just planted this weekend. So I'm good. Yes, I'm a happy <laughs> camper, very much. So, all right, so as you pop on here, please say hey, tell us where you're tuning in from. And then we want to um, help um, don't, Angie, don't you love this idea? Mm -hmm. Is that wallpaper behind you, Rita? It is not. It's not. It's a mural. It's a mural. And so it's kind of crazy, isn't it? I uh, love it. Uh, there's oh my a gosh, I love it. Great designer um, slash artist mm -hmm. here in Memphis that I adore, and I had her come and do this mural. And so my my taste is very eclectic. I love. Love I love it of everything. I do. I love a little bit of everything. Michelle, let's move your head just a little so they can see the fish. Oh, yeah. You, there's a fish with lemons, y'all. You know, actually, it's ready for dinner. Oh, they're, they're not lemons. They're quints. I don't know what a quint is. I quince. thought I always thought they were lemons. <laughs> so, is that fish painting? It It's so fun. It is. And we've you've had always that for had years. that there. Yes. We we did. We moved it. And I so, like the way it pops on the black and white mural. It's just fun. But it it's... Is. It's like Jean and I were talking about this weekend. Our house is a hodgepodge of estate sales and garage sales and things that we've collected but over the years. But that's what makes it so great because it has, here's the thing, Amy's house is gorgeous, but it has a very lived in feel. You don't feel like you're walking through a museum and you can't touch things. Sorry. Did our, I our bad. Yes. <laughs> no, I think we're still together. <laughs> Somebody's calling my phone. So I'm like, no, I can't talk to you right now. So um, anyway, so as you pop on here, here's what we do. When we have these, I love this photograph, and I may just show this to you. I know, it's so when pretty. we have these new kits that we're introducing, and we have a limited supply of them, as we do with this one. We do. With this. Is it the cutest? So 
so cute. We wanted to be um, able to have a way of showing you how to be able to take your pretty weeds with little flowers and then also flowers in your garden and then make them permanent. Yes. I know for us, it's our azaleas nice. are going to die in about about four or five days. They'll be so gone. So sad. So I can take some azaleas and put it in here. And these are pressing. We're going to take you through the process of pressing them, of um, making them into a piece of art that you can enjoy for years to come for that matter. Mm -hmm. So I do love it when you say, hey, when y'all are popping on here, because guess what? If you share this video, your name will go in for a drawing and we're going to be giving this kit away. Mm -hmm. So share the video, tag three friends. And that's all. And then so all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and Wednesday, then Wednesday afternoon, Marty will make the announcement of the person that wins the kit. Wins. Okay. We give you the kit, it's absolutely free, and then we pay for shipping. Look all at that. The goodies. Yes. It's a great kit. And it, it is comes, a great kit. You know, it's it comes in this gorgeous box. Mm -hmm. This is something if you want to even be able to give us a gift. Absolutely. Oh Pat, we're so happy that we saw you too. You know, I, Michelle knows this. I I love our Hi, virtual April. friends. Hey, April, how's it going, girl? That baby's. I can't Growing. wait to meet that baby. <laughs> right. So, um, yes, Squeeze so up. excited. It's so good to see you. So when we see your names, it really is. It's fun for us, and it's encouraging because this is our tribe. Y'all right. are our tribe, and we we love um, we love crafting. As much as you do. So, all right. So I'm, I'm just giving checking. you new ideas to play with. Totally. Yes. All right. So we are going to get started. Continue to just, as you pop on here, tell us where you're tuning in from and then share the video. Tag three friends. And we are getting ready to go on and show you. We're going to take you through the process of pressing flowers yes. and then creating this um, adorable frame. So, I hope we haven't lost. Did we did we lose? I don't think so. It doesn't tell us even when that they we called? have a No, cuz people are still commenting. So, got it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. That baby's going to be August. here in August. Okay. That's so fun. All right. So, I'm going to please be sure and continue to just say hey and make comments, ask questions. I'm going to go in and turn the video down, turn this down so that way we can see you. I'm sorry, Dina. Beautiful weather's on its way to Pittsburgh. Just be encouraged. April flowers. Um, bring May. And April showers bring, bring May, May flowers. flowers. <laughs> All right, so. We have our flowers right now. They're gonna go away by May. Okay, so we're gonna turn this down real quick and we're gonna show you the supplies that come in this kit and how you can make this. So let me turn this down. It's a little bit different setup being in the kitchen today. It is. So I wanna make sure that you guys can space. see me. Yes. So here is the stencil we're working with, which is the, what is this one called? Shine Your Light? Shine Your Light. Yes. So this is a, a really large one. stencil. This is like 12 by 18 inches. It's a big one. And then you're going to get the green with envy ceramic paint, always a bridesmaid pink ceramic paint, and the Angel Wings white ceramic paint and an artist brush and your recipe card. So with this, Plus, while these yeah. videos are great, and the, the recipe cards, <laughs> yes. I'm like leaving the out the frame, this amazing, awesome frame. <laughs> so that gives you everything. The only thing you need to be able to add to it is your flowers. are your flowers. And so as we were saying, you can go out to your garden mm -hmm. or just get some weeds. You don't have to have, you may say, I don't have flowers, Amy. I bet something's growing. Okay, <laughs> here's the other deal. What I love, because we had a graduation party here. I, I heard that. On, yeah. Yes, on Friday Saturday. night. Friday. No, you Saturday Saturday. night. Saturday. You're, yeah, you're yeah. Right. So maybe those are just, um, just some greens. things off of our boxwood outside. I'm like just a little And I love the shape of them, so there's no reason why you can't add the greenery. But here's the other deal. Um, if you have maybe a graduate... Somebody yes. that's going to a prom. Yes. Maybe somebody's getting married. Maybe um, a loved one gave you some flowers. Mm -hmm. You can put it in this frame. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really a great way to make a memorable that uh, you just take a little bit out of it. So that way you see composition is important. 
Um, so we're getting ready to go over that just a little bit, but you wanna be able to have it to where it fills in the bottom of it. So your stencil, you've still got room Feature to be able to top. put that yeah. at the top. So um, lift this up just a little bit for us. There we go, give them a little bit more space to see. Is that better? Yeah. Should I kind of lift it just a little bit more? I think so. It's kind of, it's kind of close. Okay. Let's see, babe. Oh, there we go. I don't know how it's going to cooperate. There we go. Okay. All right, friends. So do we want to show them flowers first? We want to press Yeah, let's do first? that. Okay. Let's, let's press our flowers first, guys. All right. So we just have a book and we lined it with paper, just wax paper, parchment paper, either one. You just want to protect protect the pages of your book because your flowers are wet. The flowers actually, the juice from the flowers mm -hmm. could stain your book. Yes, you don't want that to happen. And we just laid ours in. The ones that are like these beautiful flowers right here, they can get pretty flat. And so I just laid them um, so that I could position them the way I want in my paper later. And this is where we're at, just so laying them in so that we can get them flat. I think it's important to have a collection of different sizes. And textures and, and, and textures colors. and colors. We actually just went out into my yard and picked some of the weeds because there were some cute weeds. I got some boxwoods and even put um, like on, these are just like a vinca it was a ground cover leave the leaves on them like that mm -hmm. and that stalk you don't have to take just the blossom because it'll actually be pretty that way yes and then she cut some baby azaleas which so i thought so, we could just pick them they're so pretty. i didn't think i didn't really plan on using the, the branch. stem mm -hmm, the branch like, but I they were the they stem. were kind of just babies so i thought it'd be fun just to be able to have some baby azaleas Doesn't this make it happy? Don't just, don't you just love flowers? I don't know about y'all, but they just, they change me. They make me so happy. Here, friend, I'm gonna close it. Okay. And we are just gonna let that close on them the best that we can. And then press, and we'll put another book on top of them and let them stay. Now we really, that should stay for about 24 to 48 hours. Yes, but we haven't done that. We haven't. But we're not gonna glue ours in. So we're just gonna wing it. Yeah. All right, so you wanna go on and do the frame? Yeah, okay friends. You're gonna get this frame and it looks just like this. This is actually um, PVC, it's not glass, which is really nice. So it has a plastic protector on both sides. Don't forget to peel this off. It's important, or your design will not actually be on your PVC. I started your corners. So see, it's beautiful and clear. And and protected. And protected. But you'll want to take those um, off. If those are not off, then you're gonna be really disappointed when your design comes off. <laughs> and you'll have weird black things on it. Okay. We are using the Be Brave. But the reality is, Amy and I talked about this, which is why I think she really brought up the chalk art. We love this one, too. Oh, my gosh. I love all of them. Like, but any you can of change these. Them they up. could be changed. Be still and know that I am God with the flowers. And, like, it says flowers, but it also has flowers. Um, we really think you have a lot of options with the stencil. So if you did want to use a less permanent um, medium, you could totally do that. So, I mean, this stencil is extra, extra large. It is really big. Lots. What do we say? Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, eight. eight There's designs eight on different it. designs on this. So, if you haven't gotten this one, guys, I, we made journals with these. We did. Because they're just really, the, all the, the fonts are so different. They're really, really quite beautiful. But we just thought this would be nice to have on here with the flowers. And I think it's a good reminder. I mean, be brave. Like, come on, girl. Like, be, be brave. brave. We can do this. We can do hard things. Absolutely. We need to tell our daughters, be brave. Mm -hmm. I say it all the time. Tell our sons, mm -hmm. be brave. 
to be able to have reminders like this in our home, I think are just amazing. So guys, as, you, as you're as you kind of watching, we'd love to see your comments. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And if you share this video and tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing that we will be giving this away. So all day, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday afternoon, we will be giving this kit away mm -hmm. and paying for the shipping. Yes. You get me some water. I yes. did not think about that. I Absolutely. have to use three colors. Hey, we're in a kitchen. So I, I love it. it. All right, friends, we, um, in the sample, did Be Brave in Pink, Joshua 1-9 in White, and the hearts at the bottom that also kind of look like boxwood leaves in green. So that's how I'm going to show you and teach you, but feel free to play. Feel free to do what makes your heart happy when you're working. Now. We are using the artist brush. You guys know that we can do that when we're working with the ceramic paints. Um, and we just wanna make sure that we are getting it through the mesh onto the PVC. Love that, Angie. Yes, I can do all things Amen. through Christ who gives me strength. It's really good that we remember our strength Comes isn't, yes, it's not something that we um, we have to bring ourselves up mm -hmm. or, or say, you know, I'm going to put my big girl panties on today. Being brave is realizing who we are in Christ. Well, and what I've learned about being brave is that brave doesn't mean you're not scared. scared. That's right. It means you do it anyway, even though you are scared. Yes. Which I think is really vital, especially for my kids, because they'll say, but I'm scared. Like, I'll say, you're so brave. And they're like, but I'm scared. And so to be able to tell them that, that bravery is not the absence of fear. It's the fact that we still act, even though we are afraid. Absolutely. Absolutely. And sometimes we have to have those conversations with the Lord about saying, I feel human today because I'm scared. Oh, yes. Can you help me? I had that conversation with him this morning. And the ceramic paint on here, guys, is going to make this permanent. Yes, it will. It will. Now, you don't have to bake this. You know, we talk a lot about baking. Maybe people get confused. And it's like, do we bake? Are we not baking? What, what's going on, Amy? And it's like, if it's something that you're going to be using a lot, like a bowl or a mug or whatever, then it's a situation to where we say, pop it in the oven and bake it because it's just going to make it cure faster. This, of course, is a frame. You yes. don't have to worry about it. Looky there, friends. So pretty. So pretty. Ta-da. Isn't that darling? Don't y'all love that? Can you see it without the glare? All right, so we, we're we excited. We are, um, we're coming to you today from my kitchen. And I'm just gonna tell you, I'm liking it. It's kind of, it's kind of homey. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like being able to come right through the running water. It's so much faster than my tub. Absolutely. So now, you can do this, um, you can, you can do this first if you want to. I think it's probably best before you actually go into your pressing process. Oh, I think so too. And, um, and you can choose, of course, you can mix the colors too. And if you wanna make this just a little bit darker or lighter, or Absolutely. maybe you can mix it up. But just because it's about springtime um, and summer, we included a pink, a green, and a white. Mm -hmm. Those are such Lily Pulitzer colors too. Yes. I'm gonna put my caps on. Now, granted, you're going to want to give this time to dry. Ours will be drying while we position our flowers. But it probably would be good to let this dry two hours mm -hmm. before you start this process. Absolutely. Um, so we, like we said, we pressed our flowers just recently. And so ours may not be as flat as we like. Um, the longer you give them to press, the better. <coughs> and the reality is, when you're gonna look at the recipe card, it's gonna say to put a little dab of glue. That's gonna help them stay in the right place. Um, and you are more than welcome to do that. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna position 
your flattened flowers. Do you see how pretty those went, guys? Flat, this boxwood. And you can pull them apart when you're working with them if you want to and get them flatter or position them how you want. You do want to work on a composition mm -hmm. where it's kind of like there's a little garden growing along the base and yes. then kind of come up on the sides. How does your garden grow? What was that? Was it Mary? Mary Quite Contrary? How did your garden grow? Yeah, something like that. Don't don't expect me to remember that right now. Well, obviously I can't remember it either. I'm on the struggle bus. I think it would be good here. Go for it. Wherever you want. Compositionally. These beautiful things. Whoop. <laughs> it rolled. But I think it would, really would be good, guys, if you allowed your flowers to stay flat yes. in the book overnight. Yes. That way they're going to get really nice. Um, and also a little bit dried out as far as the moisture. Absolutely. Out of the flowers. That's looking really good. Ooh, lay down, baby. There we go. Turn a little yellow, a little pop of color right But there. you know, this is something too, if you wanted to change it up. Mm -hmm. You don't, I like the idea of not gluing them in here. I do too. Because just depending on things that you want to be able to see that are in your garden different times of the year, So fun. I, I love, love this. Like, that makes me happy. That's so fun. Our second one is under our book. Do we want, compositionally, how do we feel? Do we need something well, else right in put, here just to kind of finish it out? Can we from the other one? Can we put more boxwood under there? I think so. Hey, you know what? Now, this was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this guy. This was actually in some flowers that they used at the graduation this weekend. Like, look at Yes, just drop them. Just kind of fill that in. I like that one fell right up here. I do too. Compositionally. So work on your composition. Do we like the idea of adding the texture from the stalk? I kind of thought the stalk would look cool around the bottom too. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like right here? Yeah. Now, here's what we're gonna run into. This is something that you need to be careful when you're doing this as far as pressed into a, a frame, is they don't need to be too, too thick. Right. I have a little bit of concern about him. Yeah, because he is fluffier. And because we haven't pressed him. Because if you'll put it in a book overnight, It'll then that flatter. way, yeah, he'd be flatter. Let's just put some boxwood down there too. Cause see, look, he's doing pretty good. I mean, as far as if I if I flattened him in a book, he'd do good. He would do a lot better. But I picked him. All right. Oh, that's this one. Let's push him in here. All right. So now we'll save him for later. All right. So what do you think? Our green is still wet. I can see it's all glossy. So if we really carefully put it on there, it's gonna show up on the other side. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. All right, so let's make sure. I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> so if I mess it up, it's my fault? No, we're not gonna worry about it. But. There we go. Oh my gosh. Why this, I don't know why this makes me feel like a little girl again. Didn't you do this as a kid? I must have. So we used to oh my gosh, iron it's fabulous. them. fabulous. We used to put yes, them in yes, I do remember wax that. paper and the wax paper would iron together and my mom would hang them in the window that Kirk and I made for her. Like, she'd be like, oh, look what the kids made. And they would hang in the window until they weren't pretty anymore and then we'd make more. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna gently pick this up, maybe. Yes. And because it slides into the frame, the frame is gonna hold these together quite nicely. This is a really nice frame, the way that it all works together. Oh, look at that. Guys, look, is that the sweetest? Isn't it pretty? Can you see? Let's do this. this. There we go. Look, at, look this. at that. 
Is that the sweetest? Oh my gosh, I love our Does colors. Does that not make you so happy? Do y'all love this? It's so, yes. You know, we talk about this so much that making, oh, making so things, making things. Oh, thank y'all for the love. Thank you, making things with things that you love. Making things, things from your garden. So pretty. And you have options, like you can hang it or you can use it as a standing frame. It's so pretty. Wouldn't this be so pretty in my kitchen? It absolutely would. It would blend into all your happy. <laughs> it's so cool. You know, here's the fun thing. It's- I it, love our tiny little purple one right here. I know, look at that. Can y'all see? One just little baby little, purple that fell all by itself. <laughs> little, little happy. Look at that. It's like, boop, hi. From, from a composition, it's really pretty. I love it. I love the colors we picked. I was like, oh, how about this one? Oh, look, here's some red. Oh, here's some white. Hey, let's put them all in there. So it's a combination of things. These were some weeds. Yep, totally. Some, of course, azaleas, as you know, that are getting ready to, um, to die. Some boxwoods from outside of my house. And then this was over there in just kind of the planters. Okay. All of are they were... pansies? What are these? Oh gosh, what are these guys? Oh, look, I'm gonna stump her. I have no idea. I, I am know. not it's, the flower it's girl. It's like stump the chump. I know. I, I will know. Um, I'm like, give me yucca. Okay, <laughs> now. Indian paintbrush, and I've got you. Okay, so here's the deal. You can have this. I'm holding this up. You can have this to where it will stand, like uh -huh. in your window in your kitchen, or maybe on your nightstand in your bedroom. Would be so Still pretty. A little happy to wake but you up. But if you want it to hang in the window, absolutely, it has a hanger. Just on the back of this, you take them off. Yeah, you can take it off. It has like a little, um, like a necklace latch. Look, you can just unlatch it. Look, so. Well, I, not only that, you can unlatch this. So if you decide not to hang it, you can take the latch off, off of too. that as well. It's really great. It makes it super versatile. Impatience. Oh. Yes, impatience. Thanks for the, I thought she thanks was, for the tip. Yes. I, I thought she was telling on me. No, look at that. Is that not the cutest? My flaw, impatience. Well, you don't have any flowers in tree budget, but you will, you will, and then you're gonna to wanna to be able to save them. So anyway, love that, I do. I love the idea of actually. She's trying to figure out which window to put it in right now. Hanging it in my all, kitchen. All, all the wheels are working. Okay, hold on. Ah. Talk, talk to her for just a second, hold on. She is checking the kitchen. And then maybe we'll have to show you where it goes when she gets it home. Yes! 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 Okay. It's right above the sink where she will see it when she washes the dishes. Or you know, Jean washes the dishes. Jean, Jean washes he dishes. He does wash the dishes. That's what I was saying. Or Jean washes the dishes. Because Jean washes the dishes. He doesn't like a dirty kitchen. <laughs> no, Jean's a perfectionist and he loves it. Um, He's but like, no, I'm going to wash those. We have a rule. We have a rule that I cook and he cleans. So that's the trade out. My dad has the same rule and he will wash dishes all day long as long as my mom keeps cooking because my dad can't boil water. I will, I'll tell y'all this. <laughs> but you know what? Jean's a pretty darn good cook. We got Green Chef. If I will say this, if you've wanted your husband to learn how to cook and you haven't been able to, then um, get Green Chef. And then he was able to do it and learn with the recipe cards and did a great job. I mean, I remember one time you were out of town and he brought, and I was like, where'd you get that from? He's like, I made it. And I was like, what? It was, it was probably Green Chef. <laughs> it looked amazing it and it smelled amazing. I was like, oh, Jean. I, and I'll tell y'all, it's, Yum. you know, I'm, I'm past it now. But of course, many of you know that I'm a cancer survivor. And so today I had my six month checkup from that I have to do every six months. And so I was going this morning and he was like, um, I'm going with you. And I was like, no. And I was even in the car and I said, no, don't come. I got this. I got it. And he goes, no, nothing matters in this world today, but you nothing, That's right? The shop doesn't matter. Nothing matters, but you and my baby. And so I was just like, okay, I'm so blessed. <laughs>
I'm so blessed. So when I think, just even talking about him and cleaning the kitchen, I just think, man, I am really blessed. I'm just telling y'all. Yeah, I he's am. pretty great. Mm, he really is great. Um, so I have, I guess I'm, I should take the phone off of the um, thing. So let's show yes. you before we go over here. So the kit we're introducing today is this adorable pressed flower kit. Look at this. this is and like, there's, I will tell you, order. there's a limited supply of them because of the frames that we were able to get. And we hate that, but at least we're showing you a skill. Mm -hmm. um, but if you, if you do love this kit, um, did he fix the hammock? <laughs> did you see it? No. Yes, it's fabulous. He fixed. He, I will tell you multiple times, he went out there and it would slide and I thought, I'm sure not getting in this thing, but I did. Um, and it's so funny, Christine, he has two brothers and they're both fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic men. One has seven children and one has um, two children. But yes, he's fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. She's looking for her husband, Amy. Who? who? Oh, <laughs> Christine. That's why you want to know. Oh, if okay. Brothers like okay. him. Okay, gotcha. I feel you, sister. <laughs> All right, so hang with me for just a minute. This is very unprofessional. I'm gonna walk around here because I want you to see my kitchen, where it's gonna go. But look at this. Look at this. Look Can you at see? It. Look, it's hanging in the window already. Is that not the cutest? So that way, I've got it right here at my sink where I'm working on stuff. I can look at that, and I can have a reminder of today, of y'all, and then just those pressed flowers. It's so, so sweet. So encouraging. Love that. All right, guys. A gift. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in with us today. We are so honored and so blessed to be able to be creative with you guys to make these pressed flowers was just it brought i feel like a child again it's so much fun so if you're interested in this kit you want to be sure and get it before we run out and then that way we could all put it in our kitchens or in our nightstands or maybe in our bathroom whatever your favorite place is i would love for you to share on our crafting and beautiful life group where you put yours yes. and maybe um maybe you already have a frame that you could do with this and press them i just think it's a um it's just a beautiful reminder oh wow you know what duh be brave yes i had to be brave um as a reminder this morning and i will continue to be with god's help he um his you know that when the holy spirit dwells within us we're able to do and accomplish so much more, more than we would ever do without God. So have a beautiful Monday, guys. We love you so much. Let's go press some flowers.